What does it take to be a human? It's kinda late for these guys, unfortunately. Well, I guess I just need to dispose of them, right? Hmm, they might be more than I expected. Hi, I'm Adrian and welcome to a new devlog update. This video has two parts. In one part, we'll focus on the updates of this project that I'm working on. And in the second, we will focus on how you can take this knowledge and use it in your own games to improve them. As you saw in my previous video, I have started the devlog. If you haven't seen it yet, you can check this link that appears right now on the screen to see the first part of my devlog. It is a simple shooting game where I focus on the fun part in particular. In this video, we will figure out how to improve the zombie killing machine to make it more fun. One of the main issues with the current implementation is that there is no way for the player to know when a bullet reaches the zombie. To achieve this, I created a small blood effect using the soft particle in WarFX, which is a free Unity package. At this point, we should have a clear confirmation that the bullet hit its target. But wait, we can do more. Instead of using the same repetitive animation that the zombie has when it dies, we can use instead a custom-made ragdoll, which will allow us to experience a different death animation each time a zombie is killed. To add more meaning to the impact of the projectile, what we can do is add a force to the ragdoll in the opposite way of the projectile, so that the player feels the power of the shot. Of course, if we add a little random into the mix, then we will get a nice overall game feel. So this is the result of what we added up until this point. So how can you improve your own game? By using the knowledge that's in this video. I've summarized this in three easy steps, so let's hear them out. So the first one is to provide feedback for each of the player's actions. For example, shooting the weapon, hitting the zombie, and any other action that is performed needs to have a feedback. Otherwise, the game doesn't feel natural. Provide randomness. In real life, if you throw a ball, it won't land in the same position twice. Of course, if you are super lucky. But we can use this, for example, for a projectile when it's shot to not reach the same exact position two times in a row. And the last but not least is provide smoothness in every possible action because nobody really likes choppy movements. Of course, there are many more secrets in improving your game. If you want to learn more and get updates from the current devlog I'm making, consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like to this video. Thank you.